Follow three talented young designers as they transform three empty apartments on Valdivia Estate into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Cast your vote on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance to win one of the completed apartments worth more than 3 million rand. Indeed, it's time for Win Home on Afternoon Express. And did you know that you can increase your chances of winning the grand prize apartment if you buy any Plascon product and SMS the keyword Plascon, the last six digits of your barcode and your full name to 32979. That's 32979. This puts you in line to win a golden ticket, which allows you to be one of the finalists in that grand prize competition. You can check T's and C's and more details on our Facebook page. Now, yesterday on Afternoon Express, was a very interesting day for us on the show because it's the first time that Rudolph hadn't won a challenge. Minentle was the winner of our Master Bedroom Challenge, which was a nice surprise to see because the man had been putting in a lot of work. And I haven't got a chance to chat to you about what you thought about those rooms. Yeah, and I actually secretly wish I was a judge on Winner Home. Yeah. Like in next season, I might have to bribe somebody because I really want to be a judge on Winner Home. I secretly don't want to be a judge or a presenter or no, anything because I want to win the home. Judge. <laughs> this is my thing. I love houses. Obviously, from so yeah. many years on top billing, I've literally seen the most most beautiful houses in the world. True. Menentle's bedroom was fantastic, just because I love the wardrobe. Mm. He really did not bring in that luxury element. And that's exactly what John said yesterday to Joanne, is that she failed to do that little bit more luxury. luxury than, yeah. And that's exactly what they needed. So, it was, it was so that's funny. what I really like Menentle's. Did you like that back wall? Because that was something that was quite risky of his. The curtains I loved, the roof that he had done was amazing, the bed poles, risky. Just and that 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 yeah. dressing room, which that you love. That dressing loved. room is amazing. But look how neutral all of his other colours are, which is why yeah. he could have gone for the brighter um, the back wall. Because it was so interesting. I just thought it would have aged so quickly with that sort of paint, but it really didn't. The judges loved the fact it was out of the yeah. box. The bed was so wasn't cool. amazing. I wouldn't yeah. have that bed. I would want more of a fluffy, luxurious bed yes. in that room. But Menentle was amazing. He totally deserved to win yesterday. I agree. And what about Joanne? Because I know you've mentioned the fact that hers was quite simplistic. Okay. So Yeah, Joanne, um, her room, uh, she's really, really brilliant. Um, I loved how she put the details in the ceiling. Mm. And I really liked her bed. I liked that bookcase in the back. Um, yeah, I really, I like her simple, it's quite, it's clean, but it looks to me like a young man is going to live there. Yes, well, I <laughs> hope that if I entered, maybe there would be that chance for me to get, get in there. The linen wasn't the best idea that she used. I mean, she tried to put some, some shelvings in and she didn't make it enough luxury like they did say. Well, so you must remember, we're seeing it on a screen. When you yeah. see it in real life, it's actually going to look even better. It is. It's amazing. Walking into that room, the first thing you see is that beautiful bed and it feels yeah. spacious. Whereas Minelli has got these big poles in this. You're kind of like walking into like, well, is there yeah. space for me to get in? Yeah. So it is And then there's nice. Rudolph, who I just want to come and do my home. I love, <laughs> <laughs> I love all of them. I wouldn't be able to choose. Yeah. But, but what a great competition so yeah. far. And it's very tough. Usually with most competitions, you'd be able to to kind of see who's who's going to take it in with the this lead, one. Yeah. I mean, that sure. is amazing. I'm obsessed. The detail in this room is what I love, Jeannie. Yeah, Jeannie's. it's That's... so slick. Yeah, the marble man. side tables, he's so slick. He misses him. nothing, this kid. Yeah. He misses absolutely nothing. This That's kid. Throw. <laughs> well, this guy. He misses really, really nothing. He's putting the, the hand-woven like uh, yeah. pots and stuff in there. He's got the, the beautiful um, throw over that bed. Yeah, he would have been my favourite. He would have won for me, but I just didn't like that the wardrobe was open. I uh, like a wardrobe to close, but I love those side lamps. I actually have to ask him where he got them. Okay, I need, I, need an ins I need an insider's opinion. Are you a messy wardrobe person or a neat folded wardrobe what person? What do you think? Well, I'm incredibly messy, so I'm guessing you're neat. No, like kind of coordinated. Chaos. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Then you would definitely love those open design ones. I can't believe you want to close ones. <laughs> Our design contestants enjoyed the night off, but today they're being thrown right back into the action. There are only two more challenges left on Winner Home. What will the next one be? Let's, have it, let's head over to Ark Interiors to find out. Hi everyone, welcome to your next assignment, the kitchen. In today's modern living, the kitchen is an interactive space where we entertain, we bring our friends, we get creative. This is the perfect example of a kitchen design in a compact space. What I like about this kitchen is the way that they've hidden everything, the appliances to the dirty dishes around the corner. They've made the space feel larger. This bar area doubles up as the work surface area in the kitchen. They've used small tricks like finger grip details and integrated appliances to enlarge in the space. I think with kitchens, the, the beauty is in the details. So the brief of the kitchen is, is very simple. Keep it practical, keep it clean, 
um, and make it look beautiful. In terms of colour, what do you recommend for the kitchen? I think at the moment people are getting very, very daring with their kitchen colours. We see a lot of charcoal greys and dusty petrol colours coming through. For the Val de Vie apartment you need to think about resale value, you need to make the apartment as neutral as possible for whoever the owner is going to be. So I would recommend using a neutral colour palette. You could bring in some contrast with some darker, more charcoal colours. If I want to make my appliances a feature, how do I do that? If you want to make the appliances your feature, you need to consider balance between what it is that you want to make the feature of the kitchen. For example, Smeg's got, I think, very bright colours, they've got very neutral colours, so if you're going for an orange, beautiful, freestanding stove, make sure that somehow it relates to the other open plan areas. With the kitchen growing more and more as an entertainment area, how can one link it with the dining area? What I love about this kitchen are the, the neutral tones, the way that it complements um, the dining area. The charcoal greys bring out the limed oak in the dining table, but we've still got all the off-white colours that blend into the white. And yes, I'm so excited. The next challenge has got to do with my favorite place in the house. It is the kitchen. Now, as per usual, our design contestants have put together a budget projection for their kitchens. Team VZ has a massive projected budget of, listen to this, 191,000 Rand with 110,000 Rand on appliances. Team Real Estate has a projected budget of 56,500 Rand, much smaller than that, but they haven't added their appliances yet, so that should jump up quite a bit once they've added those. Team L Decoration has a conservative budget of 32,500 Rand, but they also haven't added their appliances yet, so we'll have to wait and see what they have up their sleeves. Win a home on Afternoon Express, where you, the viewer, can win one of three luxury apartments at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Winelands, worth over three million rand. Designed by our three contestants using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. 